hey, what's going on? I'm going to show you a really cool hack today. Um, how many times have you had a, a character that you've been working on and you want to be able to have a different emotion on their face, but retain that original character? When you go into the uh, uh, focus or Stable Diffusion and you try to make that change, it ends up usually changing your character to where you don't even hardly recognize them. So I'm going to show you a nifty little trick on how to do that and change between emotions and keep that original character. So first thing I did here is I've got a picture of Gollum from the Lord of the Rings and I made him in 1344 by 704. So we're going to make sure that we set this to one and make sure the seed is set on random. Very important. And we want the speed to be on fast. And these are the only styles that we're going to select for now. Uh, we don't need too many to do this. So we're going to put in a basic prompt here, Gollum, Lord of the Rings, accurate copy, hyper-realistic, and we're going to go ahead and run that. Um, accurate copy is a good keyword to put in there because it makes it stay closer to your original. Now, we're going to run this and see what it looks like, and if we don't like it, we can run it again because we've got the seed set to random, and I'll run it as many times as I need to to get that picture as close to my original as I possibly can. And once I find one I'm happy with, um, I'll go ahead and use that and we'll move on. All right, so once you found one you're happy with that matches your original, we're going to go back over and uncheck random on the seed. Very important because this number here is going to be the seed that we work with that will tell the uh, AI to stay with that original picture. So we're going to add to our prompt a little bit now. We're going to add some keywords that describe anger. Um, things like extremely angry or mad teeth, because a lot of times there's teeth showing when someone's angry. Um, and we can always keep adding to this if we're not happy with the results we're getting. But you, you'll be surprised. Some characters you can put simply angry and it gives you a good angry face. Others you have to give a few, uh, you know, a few more keywords for it. We're going to run that now and see what we get. And uh, if we like it, you know, we'll move on to a different emotion. If not, we'll change it around and add to it, see if we can't make him a little more angry. And I can kind of tell when this one's coming up. He definitely looks angry, but I want him to be just a little bit more angry, I think. I ended up adding bloodshot eyes and wrinkled brow, and I can tell now that this one's starting to look a lot more angry and more what we were looking for. So now you see we definitely got an angry-looking character, and it matches our original extremely well. Let's uh, switch over to a different emotion. Let's go with happiness here and see what we can do. We're going to change the prompts around with things like, you know, extreme happiness, glad, smile, uh, take out the things like bloodshot eyes and stuff, anything that would be the opposite of happy. And we're going to run that and see what we get. This one came out really good right off. It, to me, looks like someone found their precious. So... He's got a, a good, happy look on his face. You can do this with any emotion. You can go to sad and use prompts like, you know, extreme sadness. Um, tears on face is a good one that that helps uh, the sadness because it'll actually put watermarks on his face. Bloodshot eyes goes well with that one, too. So anyway, this is a fun little thing to experiment with, and uh, I hope it helps you out. Um, if you like this video, give us a like and maybe subscribe. And uh, if you didn't like it, maybe jump in the comments and tell us what we could have done better. All right, take care.